Awesome. Hey, Coach, you're down um, five at halftime. You're down five with like, uh, I want to say like 13 and a half minutes left. And then from there, it just really got away from you guys. At that point, just oh, oh, what happened? You know what? I, I just felt, a little, you know, I, I, it was our third game in, in uh, six days. And I just felt like we just kind of hit a wall and uh, a couple bad shots. Uh, they got out in transition. And, uh, you know, it just hurt us. It just was like a, a steamroll. We were right there. We were playing tough. We were rebounding. Our defense was really good. But just a, a few breakdowns. And, and when you're on the road, certain things like this happen. But uh, uh, came fast. And, and then also, if I can just get your thoughts on just the, um, you know, everything that Quade Green is really giving you guys, it, it just seems like he's just kind of giving it his all, but he needs some help on the offensive end. Well, I mean, the bottom line is, is we're, you know, what were we from the three-point line? Let's say six, we we're six for 30 again. You know, we're getting decent shots. Um, you know, you got to knock them down and, you know, we'll have a few days to, to work before we play in our next game. And, um, you know, we got we to gotta work them really hard and, and get their legs right. And, uh, um, you know, there was a lot of good signs compared to the first two games of the season for us. And uh, so I saw us stepping a step forward. Uh, there was a few bright spots, uh, some new identities that I really liked and uh, look forward to getting back to work with these guys. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Percy. All right, Lauren. Go ahead, Lauren. You lose Lauren. Are you, are you there, Lauren? All right. Chris Fetters. Go ahead, Chris Fetters. Hey, Chris. Hey, Hop. Um, yeah, it looked like you were about to just lose it in the second half a couple times on the sideline. Um, I guess I understand the frustration you talked about hitting a wall, but I'm kind of wondering how difficult has it been to integrate the newcomers, especially on the defensive end? It seems that there's times where it looks like they're really searching for something. Yeah, there are, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, we just, we're, we, we were fighting, you know, we're fighting for our lives out there and, and uh, trying to get these guys to, to fight through their fatigue and their mental, you know, uh, fatigue and just, fighting through it and so new guys obviously they're going to have to learn it it's new uh, they're out there um you know utah's a really good team they 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 work their offense uh, they've got veteran guys they've seen it they know how to attack it but for the most part our numbers were really good in the first half second half they just they shot 51 percent from the field and i think it was over 40 from the three and those aren't winning numbers for us and so it's just it's the consistency you know eric's still learning it um uh, and uh We'll get better, but it's a challenge for sure. And it also looked like the points after turnovers was basically the margin of the game. Well, um, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. I, but I was just curious. It just – it looks like you, you find things and then other pieces of the puzzle seem to break down. It's like you can't get it all on the same page. Yeah, and that's part of when you're building something, right? When you're building new guys. You just got to – you got to stay patient. You got to stay confident. Um, and, uh, you know, the, in, the, in the first half, it was foul shots – in transition baskets. I think they only scored three or four times in the half court versus our, our zone defense. So, you know, there was a lot of good signs. Um, obviously, uh, I think that, you know, we went, to, I can't, my eyes are so bad, I apologize. And we don't have paper. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we fought. Uh, it was a one rebound differential, which was a good sign compared to the last two games that we played. So we're, there were some bonuses there. I felt like we were had a really good rhythm offensively. And then we, kind of forced it a couple times and that's what happens and so we just got to get better at it um, no no margin for error and we've got to be better thanks Hop. all right lauren i try it again lauren all right can you hear me now yes hey lauren there we go um you mentioned getting a, a good rhythm there in the first half offensively what did you like about what you were seeing offensively in the first half to go in only down five well a big thing was just our we were we were we were cutting harder we were moving faster and, uh, you know, we were sharing the ball. Uh, you know, that's, that's what you want. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just told the guys, you know, you got to shoot confident. If you make it, make it. If you miss it, miss it. The bottom line is, is we got to play confident. We got to play together. And I thought for the most part we did that. I mean, there were some lapses and some fatigue, and we made a couple bad uh, decisions there, and, uh, and that led to them getting out in fast break transition baskets. And, uh, you know, we've got to clean that up. But um, for the most part, I was happy with progress. 
And then I wanted to ask about Riley Soar. Just what does he bring when you have him out there and, and what does he do for you guys? Well, all I was looking for today when we came into this game was energy. I want guys who are willing to fight. I want really guys who are willing to fight. And they, when they go out there, they play like it's their last breath with their last breath and they play together as a team. And uh, when you're building a team, that's what it's all about. And uh, there were some, a lot of bright spots today. I mean, dove on the floor five or six times in the first half and the second half once or twice. Um, really competed, and um, that's a, a, you know, these next six days before our next game are going to be really, really important for us, and I'm excited to get in the gym because we saw progress compared to the first two games. All right, thanks, Hop. You're welcome. Dan Raley, go ahead, Dan Raley. Hey, Dan. Hi, Mike. I'm more curious, again, about uh, Soren. He, he uh, played a lot, and last year he played one game, and he looks like he's got a light touch, and he caused them some problems inside. Could you talk a little bit about that? Well, Riley's been the most impre improved player in our program, um, bar none. Uh, he's a guy that we saw every day in practice going against Isaiah and our other bigs and the year before going against, uh, you know, our veteran Sammy and and uh, Noah Dickerson. Guys just keep getting better and better. He's done a great job with his body. Uh, he's got a great IQ, and all he cares about is winning. And uh, I was really proud of him tonight for sure. All right, James Price. Go ahead, James, if you're there. Hey, Coach. Uh, it looked okay. like Utah had a good deal of success breaking down your zone and getting to the rim. Are there any adjustments that you'll consider making defensively to kind of lock up that zone a little bit, or do you think that might have been more of a product of playing three quick games? I think, you know what, I, I thought we did a good job for the most part. They shot 36% from the field in the first half, and I think they only made, they were 23% from the three-point line, if I'm not mistaken. And so those numbers, those are as good a number as you're going to get defensively. The second half, you know, the three-point ball is, is, is what we really try to take away. But you could definitely see that they were making more baskets than they did in the first half. And I think that was, you know, I don't know if it's part breakdown energy. I'll go back to the tape and watch that. Uh, but there was a lot of really good signs. Uh, I thought Riley, like, you know, we, we, we went bigger. Uh, we thought that that would be a, a way to win this game. And, it had us in it and just a couple bad possessions and some missed shots. We got knocked down and, and, and we'll be winning again. So, you know, some progress. So um, I got to go to tape to watch that. Got it. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome, James. Kim Grinnells. Hey, Kim. Hey, Coach. Offense still looks out of sort. Looks like um, Quade at times is trying to do too much. Ray yep. Blum forcing shots and Eric can't seem to buy a bucket at times. What needs to happen in order to get the offense more consistent? Well, I think the, I think the biggest thing with Raekwon is shot selection. That's the first thing I talked to him about after the game. I mean, he's, you know, he's such a good shooter, but you just can't pull from 30 feet, you know, just standing there. You know, you got to move the ball and, you know, we've got to help you get shots. You know, two threes were taken away in the first half because of illegal, you know, they called an illegal screen. I thought those were good plays and kind of got him off to a good start. But it's all shot selection for him. Uh, so we got to go to the tape and we got to teach him better. Uh, that will help moving forward. Quad A needs to trust his teammates, which I thought he did a really good job in the first half. And, and for moments when we got down, he, you know, his heart was in the right place. It just wasn't good stuff. And so these are all great teaching moments. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, it, the, the margin for error, you know, you, you got, you got to make the right play on every play. And with new guys, we just got to just keep coaching, keep building and keep improving. 